Well, hello there, I'm Sandy Allnock, and I'm back with another in the Penguin Week series. This time it's gonna be shaker cards. I'm gonna be using some new stamps from Inky Antics that I just picked up. They have several penguin stamps, but these are the ones I'm gonna to use today. And they're so dang cute. I'm gonna use the MFT shaker pouches with them. I did not know what a shaker pouch was. I think I've been living under a rock, but you put your shaker stuff in them and cut out your little image around them. I mean, isn't that gonna be fun to do little shaker cards with these? So I'm going to do the simplest coloring in the world on them. I have cut out my circles so they're going to fit and I made sure that my images were gonna be centered in the right place in the size shaker that I had. There's several different sizes. There's also several, several different depths to them. The ones that I will link you to in the supply list for this video will be the low profile ones that I'm using here for this one. You have to have some small enough stamps to fit in there, or like in the case of the Christmas tree there, an image where the most of it is within the circle and then the tree can be off, off the picture and it doesn't really matter that it's not pictured within that. Otherwise you want to make sure you use some nice small stamps with it. And I even have one that has the sentiment in the shaker there with the little birdie instead of having a penguin in it. I'm going to do some of the simplest coloring in the world on these because in a shaker card, people are looking at the shaker stuff. They're not looking at your coloring. So keep the main thing the main thing. Spend your time on the hard part, on the important part, on the part that they want to look at, which is the shaker bits. And on this particular one, the little guy up in the upper right hand side, with the little lights, I accidentally colored one of his feet red, so you'll see me do a little repair on that because I thought it was a heart he was having on his little string of lights, but it was his foot, so I had to fix that. But nonetheless, I'm gonna do some uh, simple green coloring here. You can use any kind of colorways with these. You can also coordinate with whatever color cardstock you'll be using for the cards themselves and co coordinate your coloring with it so that they get all matchy matchy or you can just have fun coloring. This is one of those super easy ones literally where I'm not going to do any shading. Not necessary for any of this so there's me trying to fix his little foot. <laughs> his foot is kind of heart shaped there you have to admit. So got all of those little guys done and uh, decided to add a blue background to them. So I have a pop of some really strong color. And again, just putting some solid blue background back there just to make it happy and not worry about putting clouds or scenes or anything. I will have some other cards that I've made with crazy scenes with these stamp sets over on the blog or on Instagram or something. I have them at the time of this voiceover, I have them stamped out and I intend to have them colored before this video goes live so you can get other ideas on what you can do with this stamp set. I generally try to do that with some of the stamps that I use here on YouTube. So if you're ever wondering and you want more ideas, then check in on my social media to see what else I'm doing because often within the, the week of using a video, I will try to use the stamp set in a different way if I can. So got the coloring basically done there and I'm gonna use some Be Creative tape to adhere my pouch. And I'm using some really skinny stuff. If you have the wider stuff, you can kind of just slice it down the middle so that you have a long skinny strip. And I'm just twisting it and kind of pulling it so that it will be all along the edge of the whole pouch, even in two little pieces. But you need to make sure it's sealed really well when you put your stuff in there. Now I have four different things I wanted to try because I couldn't remember which one of my little things worked the best. I haven't tried this Scenorama. I bought this just recently and wanted to see what it was. And it's, you'll see in a little bit, it's kind of got a weird uh, thing that it does, which is kind of funny. But you just glue your little circle onto the back of this. My circles are cut ever so slightly smaller than my pouch and you'll see why that's gonna be helpful later. But 
there is the Cinerama Snow, which is, it's a little bit on the uh, electrostaticy side. And I'll show you, like I said later, something fun that it does. This is Flower Soft, which I've had forever, and I'm finally getting to the bottom of this jar. But boy, has it taken me a long time. And I'll stick my circle image right on top of there. And it's helpful if you get them really well centered, but since that outside edge is going to be covered anyway, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. A lot of different things are going to stick in different ways, and you'll have to kind of pounce them on the table in order to kind of tidy them up or loosen them from sticking to the plastic. And this is ice chips from Honey Bee. Ice chips are kind of a fun, very sparkly kind of snow. And those I was very pleased with. They sat nicely in the bottom. And then these are diamonds. So they're bigger pieces, bigger chunks, but they're also very nice and white and make for an excellent shaker. Those last two are from Honey Bee. Now for the card assembly, you have to punch a circle. And I'm gonna use my two inch circle punch. You can also use a die. And in order to get them roughly the same distance from the edge of the card, I just put two matching pieces of sticky note there so I can line up my punch and then do the punching so that my circle is relatively <laughs> the same distance. And then you just pop the little pouch inside there. Now what I did was tape it to the back of the card so that it wouldn't slide sideways and, and it would stay vertical. And then I had another piece of red cardstock matching my card base, and I put adhesive all over it so it will really hold that pouch in place nicely. Got to love that low profileness. It's kind of just like a dimensional adhesive plus a little bit type of thickness. I added a sentiment that has been embossed in white, and then a little bit of snow flurrying down. This particular one I didn't add a, another sentiment to since it had it within the, sh the shaker pouch, but it has the honeybee diamonds in it which settle nicely at the bottom. This is the flower soft which sticks a little bit to the front but not too badly and uh, looks kind of nice, looks uh, like the shape of it is kind of lacy. Cinerama has this interesting thing that it does. It, ha it works with the static of your finger so you can move it around. Do you remember those things from uh, that used to have like iron filings that you could move around with a little, little uh, magnetic pencil? Yeah, kind of crazy. This is the honeybee ice chips which again settle very nicely at the bottom but they also shake around well. So there are my penguin cards. All of the cards are pictured on my blog if you want to pin anything or if you need a reminder of which contents make a good snowy shaker. And all the supplies are listed there as well as in the description down below. I'll see you guys later for another penguin card.